Hello everyone, it's me again, Steve Dojo here, back to more Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero, and this time I'll be talking about the different types in Sparking Zero, however, the power speed type, and how we might get many more types, leading to a new layer of gameplay that we actually didn't have earlier in the Tenkaichi 1, 2, and 3 games, but Tenkaichi 4, aka Sparking Zero, we're getting a new layer of uh, gameplay, with this kind of rock, paper, scissors-esque mechanic, which could be good and bad in some areas. I think this might affect the gameplay a lot in scenarios where we may have not seen it before, a good example is that two characters who previously were not power or speed types in Tenkaichi 3, let's just say for example, Z Broly is a power type and say, I don't know, uh, Kid Buu is a speed type, right? Uh, two characters who would be kind of on even terms because they were they both had crazy movesets in the previous games might actually see matches being a bit more one-sided due to Broly being a power type and therefore making him slow enough. That character, Kid Buu, might actually just get away with being able to maybe bully him in a sense. Again, I'm not saying that it leads to exclusively unbalanced gameplay, but it is a very interesting thing to bring up, because having different types in a game, it can't just be for show, otherwise you've wasted the mechanic. Um, it's It has to serve a higher purpose. So I have to see, right? Because alongside power and speed type, I 100% expect like technical types or balanced types. You know, I could see Goku being a balanced type if they ever introduced those, right? And a technical type is easily something that would go on a character like Piccolo. And it maybe changes to a power type when it goes orange. Who knows? Master Roshi is listed as a power type character after all. But don't forget, only in his max power mode. Keep in mind, only the max power mode of Roshi is the version we've seen. Everything we see whether it's the official side when it comes to the characters or the trailers, only lists Roshi as max power mode power type. Meaning that when he's a normal type character, he might actually not be a power type, meaning characters might actually change types when they transform, or that he was always a power type, just only revealed to us in his max power modes to be one. So, who's to say, right? Some characters might not actually even get the benefits of being a power type until they actually transform into the appropriate stage for it, for lack of a better word, right? A good example is Frieza. Frieza is considered to be reasonably quick, at least compared to the characters that he faces on Namek. And obviously he foregoes all of that to become much stronger in his full power mode. I can imagine Frieza is another really obvious power type, at least when he's full power Frieza. But once he's in final form or golden form, he probably drops down to a speed type or something else. Speaking of how characters may change types, um, if they're a third or a fourth type, I imagine there's going to be at least three. So we can get the true rock, paper, scissors-esque dynamic, dynamic, and I'll talk about that in a bit. But I imagine there still could be a uh, potential for four types in the game. Because I imagine, obviously, a technical type, right? Whenever we have to talk about a power type and a speed type, there's always technical. Um, it can't just be that there's a balanced type added onto it. I think there will be a technical type. But some characters will definitely be balanced, for example. I don't think they've told us what Goku and Vegeta are, right? I don't believe they've said that Goku or Vegeta fit any of the categories, such as... Um, power or speed i do remember in their v jump tees for goku and vegeta where they showed off some of their forms such as you know early z goku mid z goku late goku and super goku i don't think they classify them as a type in both appearances um we do say that power versus speed was going to be the next uh, v jump thing for sparking zero and that was true but they don't actually classify these guys as a type but uh, i feel like some some ones are going to be obvious right like super vegeta there's no way he's a speed type. Let's just get that out of the way. Great Vegeta is not going to be a speed type. Super Saiyan God Vegeta, I can easily see being a technical type or a speed type. Um, and the same thing with Kaioken Goku. I imagine Goku, once he goes into Kaioken, is a power type. And Kaioken is listed as a transformation for him in this game, rather than a power-up. I need you guys to remember that. Because in Tenkaichi, Freya was a power-up. But in uh, Sparking Zero, it is a transformation for early Z Goku. So he'll definitely swap to power type when he goes uh, Kaioken. Super Saiyan, I'm not so sure about, and neither of Super Saiyan Blue. Maybe Super Saiyan 3 will be a power type, since he has to kind of use all of his energy right away, or he'll run out of power. That's always been the way Super Saiyan 3's been. But, again, it's really hard to tell. Um, however, I do believe Goku and Vegeta are going to be probably a balanced type um, in their original forms, and then they'll shift to power or speed, depending on what the form requires, right? It, it's also an interesting way to actually make transformations, uh, I guess, more viable. Let's say you're in the middle of a fight and you're like, oh, I need more speed right now. So let me turn my form down a notch so that way I can be faster. Or let me, you know, raise my form so that way I can be faster or stronger. Or maybe it's like, oh, damn, you know, I need something that I could get around this guy's power. Maybe you've had a bit more techniques and use whatever the technique type form is. Or the balance type form if you need to deal with like a myriad of different challenges. You know, that, I think I think that's cool. Um, but, but yeah, again, we'll, we'll have to see, right? Soon, 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 though. We'll know, we'll know if there's a, a further or fourth type coming to Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero. Um, I'm wondering if the rock, paper, scissors dynamic might lead to a certain meta. For example, it might always take a normal type to beat a technical type, since a normal type will have, you know, more things at their disposal to take out 
uh, a technical type, like a normal or a balance type, right? And speed types might always be power types, but power types might be normal types. I don't know if there's going to be some weird Pokemon super effective, not very effective kind of matchup, right? Because I feel like at the end of the day, with those kind of systems, you could easily lead to one being a problem. I imagine, let's say for an example, right? I imagine speed types in uh, a Van and Amco game would be unfortunately very strong. Van and Amco, if there's two things, Van and Amco always have a hard time balancing, at least in, in their recent games. It is how ranged attacks work and how uh, speed works in a lot of their games. Some characters in a lot of their games end up being too quick to even hit, um, while also being fast enough to always hit other people. And ranged attacks usually end up being king in every game. Um, a good example is before Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, if any of you remember that game. Before that game came out for ages, I was saying that Nobroku Gisaki would be really OP in that game because Bandai does not know how to balance out ranged attacks. And lo and behold, she's like top one or two character in the game because, yeah, uh, again, how, how many times have I said this? They, they really don't know how to balance out ranged attacks. So we'll, we'll see um, if, if it will lead to any meta, right? But I, I imagine that one type might unfortunately end up being so much stronger than the other, or at least certain characters from that type. Um, might end up being so much stronger than other uh, characters that they might not even need to like counter pick to get around type disadvantages. They might just be so strong they can ignore type disadvantages. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. But yeah, that basically concludes my thoughts, I think, on all of this. Mostly because, again, we, we actually don't have any real confirmation, but some of the stuff is really obvious. I feel like power and speed isn't the only type in the game. Obviously, that's just dumb. There are some characters in Dragon Ball who don't even fit both descriptions, and not having a normal type seems very, very bizarre. So yeah, I, I can predict at least a power type, speed type, those are the two ones confirmed, normal type and technical type, because I feel like that just makes sense, and maybe, maybe special type? For characters who are just kind of the jack of all trades like ssj4 gogeta i don't think he'll be a power type he doesn't really have a destructive presence he doesn't really blow anything up he's not like uh you know topo can be a power type because obviously he turns to god of destruction topo right but um Goge ssj4 gogeta i imagine and other characters who are like very unique like him i feel like could fit into a new type called special maybe a fifth type that doesn't really have too many weaknesses but its strengths are like its strengths are apparent but you know uh, whatever they, they they can figure that but um, yeah, I can imagine uh, a few other types, as well as characters, obviously, you know, changing types when they transform. A good example is I'm sure Goku's not a power type the whole time, because early Z Goku would have to go power type when he becomes Kaioken. Or maybe Kaioken could be a special type since it does increase everything. But let's just say power, since that's the main thing it does, right? Um, Super Saiyan 3 uh, Goku is obviously a power type in comparison to how Z Goku is probably a normal type all the way through until he reaches Super Saiyan 3, which is his final form, by the way. When it's, when he's Z Goku, Super Saiyan 3 is his final form. So power type being um, his last form makes sense. And Super Saiyan Blue Goku, he could also be a normal type, but I imagine Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta might be special types since Super Saiyan Blue is their ultimate forms. Well, not ultimate forms. we got Ultra Instinct. You know, Ultra Instinct is probably a special type. Um, hypothetically, if it was a real type. But if not, speed type, because it, its main thing is dodging. So, um, yeah, I think that'll be, that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, obviously, again, please leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to greatly support the channel. And leave a comment down below as to what you'd like to see next. Again, I do love you all, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time, fellas. Take care, and uh, peace.